Hello everyone, welcome back to Archer's Plays Pacific Drive. A bit late, I'm afraid. I wasn't too well on the day that I was going to record this, so I'm recording it the day after. Hopefully I'll get it out in time. It's, it's Apologies for what you're going to do. Uh, let's start, as usual, with a quick lore dump. So if you don't want to listen to all this, perfectly fine. I'm going to put the time to skip to here and down in the description like I did last time, but for everyone else who's sticking with me, listen along. Uh, refueling the car, watch your fuel gauge. You don't want to be caught with an empty tank. You can siphon fuel on the go from scattered fuel barrels and abandoned vehicles. Fill your tank if you can and put surplus fuel in the fuel can from the trunk. I didn't do anything in between episodes, by the way. There wasn't much to do, so... Job done. Honeypot. Partial memo, source unknown, circa 1967. <clears throat> I don't like the word trap because it implies intent. And intent implies intelligence. A substantial application of intelligence, in fact. Planning. For sure, we have multiple accounts now of what seems to be the spontaneous appearance of anomalies apparently triggered by human behaviour or investigation. But we must think about this as scientists. Something that happens as a response or reaction of some kind isn't necessarily goal-oriented behaviour. It may be no more than the ripples created by a stone falling in a lake, albeit a lake that continues to baffle and bemuse. We must spend a lot more time recording what the zone does, what these anomalies do, before we begin extrapolating. I don't believe that we're seeing intent or intelligence. I believe we are merely seeing response, unfolding processes, no different to weather or complex chemical reactions. We just might happen to sometimes be the catalyst. We just might sometimes happen to be the catalyst. Consumer Electronics Journal Fragment Date Unknown. Everyone's checked out of town. <clears throat> At this point, I'm the last person left. I'll be gone by tomorrow too. It's hard to believe this was once a community. Sure, we didn't have that much to show for it. Not much to offer visitors, no great sites or famous landmarks. But a few of us lived out here and we were happy with our lot. And then it seems the government had other plans for us. You no longer live here, they said. Here's your compensation payment. Now get out. Their weird secret experimentation zone keeps growing. They own this land now, this town, and soon we'll never be able to come back. They barely gave us enough to cover the cost of moving. Now it's time to work out what to leave behind. Box truck, smiley face. Private field notes, Dr. Everett, date unknown. It never occurred to me that this would become a logistical nightmare. By the end of the decade, operations in the zone involved over 100 scientists, twice that in support staff and technicians, another 100 staff in engineering disciplines, and more than 2,000 military personnel. That last figure is particularly difficult to estimate. <clears throat> oh, and trucks. Trucks all the time, rattling back and forth, moving gas, moving mechanical equipment, cabling, furniture. I guess we need all so we all need sofas, right? I'd have preferred a light rail network, at least more freight, but after those early incidents, it's like everyone is scared to get on any train within 100 miles of this place. Like they're cursed or something. So it's trucks all day and all night. You know what we've brought to the zone? Traffic jams. And now? Now we're starting to move everything out again. Downsizing, they call it. Or just outright plundering abandoned equipment. Tow truck. We actually didn't scan. I'm sure we've seen these before. We only scanned it last time. Transmission fragment. Origin unknown. Date unknown. Broken down? Of course we've broken down. Do you need me to recap? We had our doors stolen by one of those floating things. We had our battery drained by one of those bouncing things. We had our wheels ruined by one of those spiky things. We were dragged into a tree by... By... You know, one of those other things. So yes, we have broken down. Don't act so surprised. Are we the first ever people to break down out here? Why do you think you exist? Why do you think we gave you that truck? You know what? You're not fast enough. And I... What? Another job? Another job? Who? We broke down first. Uh, okay. <laughs> people doing their jobs. Somewhat. Wriggling wreck. Teletype auto script. Arda ref ward a... Is that a dash in it? Maybe. 1720-101066. It's a trap. It's a goddamn trap. It's a monster. The other person didn't like the term trap. This place is learning how to ambush us. You know what that means? It means it doesn't want us here. This place doesn't want us. The whole last part of the world is rejecting us, trying to get rid of us, trying to push us out. Think about that for a moment. That's horrific. The thing was like some kind of wicked new wildlife ready to spring at us. But only us. Except, you know what? It's not like wildlife. Do you ever notice how these anomalies don't actually attack don't attack one another? When have you ever seen them fight? Wildlife is an ecosystem, infinite parts responding to one another. The anomalies? 
Listen to me. That's the zone uniting against us. Minute man. Teletype auto script. Arda ref hopper G. 1140-211-163. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that you find my anger and frustration difficult to deal with, even intimidating, but I wonder if you'd react the same way if any of your male colleagues came to you with similar complaints or dissatisfaction. I've been on hold for two hours, and I'm, go I'm calling to warn you of a new danger that it is very much in everyone's interest to know about. Do you understand? No, listen to me. Write this down. We're seeing more and more anomalies capable of electrogenesis, of producing electric energy like an eel or ray, but at remarkable levels. This is enormously dangerous, and I don't care what secrets Arda wants to keep. This is about people's safety. Their lives. This has nothing to do with me trying to muscle in on research or put myself back on some half ass program. It's about you, idiots, understanding the risk you're hiding from people. Now let me send this data through. Oh, you want to talk about theories? How are you on limb wave interpolation or Patel's theory that Arda have twisted half a peninsula into some kind of Klein bottle where the inside is now the outside as well? Or do you want to put me through to somebody who is actually interested in making things happen? Sassy. Hopper G. Who are you? I don't know. Uh, this says there's a thing, but I don't see a thing. Mm, oh, it's because it's not scrolling. There we go. Utilities. Side rack. Weld a sturdy rack to the side of your vehicle and you might just be able to add an attachment there. And yes, this will be extremely inelegant. And it is. Desetting station. Store and install your vehicle cosmetics at this dedicated beautification station. Matter deconstructor. <clears throat> Energy efficient, economical, and probably even ethical. The matter deconstructor will recycle car components in seconds. And it will eat up extra food, but it won't give you anything back, by the way. Do be careful not to get your hand caught in the suspension matrix. Status monitor. A big screen version of the car's current status. How's that high res looking? Uh, hood ornaments. Stock hood ornament. It came with a car, just like the rest of the car did. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny. I like that. Mirror ornaments, the D20. Oh, nice. Not guaranteed to be balanced. We should float it. Do a float test. Steering wheels. We've got an old school steering wheel. A relic from a far classier age. We've got stock steering wheel. There's nothing wrong with the bare bones basics, right? Yeah, no, that's true. Uh, oh, I'll grant you that. Forage sticker. They're probably safe to eat, right? <laughs> yeah, just eat any old mushrooms. What could go wrong? Uh, okay, this is literally just going to be... I'm not going to read all of those, uh, because mm, I'm guessing that they don't have anything funny in there. I'll just tick them off uh, between episodes. Decal stamp numbers, perhaps now you can reach pole position. North Pole. Black stripes. Want to look cooler and meaner, but not so mean that you'll get in trouble? These decals are all the middle ground that you need. All the middle ground that you need. Decal white stripes. How is it that stripes make your car go faster? Scientists just don't know. Sarcophagus. Transform your car into your very own sarcophagus by wrapping it in cosmic flora, guaranteed to help you mow down any pesky weeds. Those are several concepts that do not fit together in my head in any respect. And yet there they all are in one sentence. Year of the Dragon. Go forth with the good fortune and strength of a dragon. I will, I will, I will, I will. But not, not until the other ones are all broken. Uh, this dichloromethane-based solution is a rapid and perhaps even safe way to strip automotive paint. Warning, do not drink. Avoid contact with skin, eyes, or mucous membranes. Use only in well-ventilated spaces. Do I have one of those? Is this a well-ventilated space? Perhaps it is. Yeah, I've got loads of those to read, so I'm not going to... Anomaly studies. Ooh. We need to make a fax machine. Arda Cat Ref 122. One of the earliest consistently reported anomalies, this mimics many artificial noises made in its presence. A tiny burrowing bottle-shaped anomaly, this would surface... Uh, I lost my, <laughs> lost my place. This would surface and imitate engine noises, radio static, or in particular sirens. Studying these was difficult as those approaching them suffered immediate nausea and dizziness. Sightings dropped to zero soon after the first crawlers manifested. I don't know if we're going to see necessarily all of the anomalies that are in that list because I've not seen that one. Lab reports, number six. One we get first. I need your help. Read through the data. Look at the numbers. I've checked every equation, every result. The batteries were consistent, the quality of the materials were pure. And yet, nothing on paper could really truly explain the disparity in the results. The fact is, the materials in chamber A were exposed for longer than those in chamber B, despite the experiment running for the same exact amount of time. Please, I beg you, I'm at my wit's end. Help me find an explanation. And hurry, we've already deployed a dozen setups like this. They're already running out in the field. I fear if we don't get ahead of this, it's going to be bad. I wonder what that is talking about. So... Apart from those, we've gone through everything, so welcome back everybody else. Uh, we're now going to make a fax machine, I think, because it asked me to, and somewhere in somewhere, 
I have put uh, a tape, <laughs> something that the fax machine reads. They're in here. Look, these two things. Look how much of this I've got. Um, you can put all of this in here, and it will just dump it. And I've got so many, I'm actually going to do that. Yeah, it doesn't give you anything, as expected. Let's go and find that fax machine then. Uh, is it in here? Yeah, there it is. Missing ingredients. We need a circuit board. We need research, research circuit board. Well, that's there. Look, confirm that. You have to pick it up and read it like a chump. Then you have to make one like a Thebian. We haven't read this. Let's read this. Uh, okay, let's not. <clears throat> Craft one of those. This is a half blank circuit board used for prototyping new layouts, sometimes known as a breadboard. It should not be confused with, nor used alongside, any culinary equipment. Right? <clears throat> I shan't. No, oh, I can just move around like that. That's much faster. We'll make ourselves an FAX machine. Pick this up. Where are you going? For here. Mm, I feel like you're going to delete a very useful piece of equipment. <clears throat> Do you know how expensive storage is? No highs. Right. Uh, the hiker credits his survival to his two dogs, Dante and Mango, who fought off what he describes as a gigantic shrieking sphere of electrical energy that chased him down the mountain. Meteorologists have suggested this was the rare phenomenon known as ball lightning, but he insists this was something quite different. One one F. Date unknown. Uh, here you go. Lab report six and anomaly studies one. Oh right. Okay. So we can. Uh, Read those, I guess. I suppose I go in there, but I, okay. I've already like gathered the contents of them without putting them in a machine, but I guess I, at least I can store them in there without having to fill up some of my other things. But let's talk to the friendly dumpster because it's telling me to. What is the pirate ship? Oh. A hood ornament. Put the R in order. Ooh, maybe we can store that. Uh, yoink. Just a, oh no, more, more. Mm, okay, more. Good for fair enough. I'm not gonna be sad. Yeah, a new hood ornament. Which maybe we should just put on. I'll put that in there. It's full. What else is in here? Steel bumper. Bulbs are huge. It's insane. We can get a bigger locker. Maybe we should do that. I think we can anyway. Uh... Oh, it's probably in here. Yeah, garage. Expanded locker. Steel sheets. Six steel sheets. Excuse me? Uh, outfitting station. Upgrading cars is one thing, but now it's time to spend a few of those own resources upgrading yourself. One, you deserve it. Uh, it doesn't cost very much, so we will create that. Hello. Main sense of limb, everything else I don't really care about. Ooh, goes here. Uh, put. Hello, building. Let's read the machine. Upgrading. Oh, it's the same. This frequency analyzer and extractor machine shouldn't be using anything. Is it even hooked up to phone lines? Uh, yes. Oh, look. Grounded sweater. A very rudimentary solution to the many zaps and shocks you might suffer in the zone. This will do for now, but it definitely needs further modification. Uh, is this where we get bigger... Oh, powered boots. Enjoy softer and safer landings, courtesy of the power of plasma technology. Medium backpack. Craft it immediately. <laughs> right, we've got more carrying space now. This one requires swamp coral, so that seems like a long way off. Because uh, it's called something strange. Uh, might as well get some powered boots. We've got so much stuff, right, <laughs> that we should burn through the materials that we've been stocking up. Certainly better than nothing, just provide you with a modicum of protection against our knocks and bumps the zone inflicts, though it could definitely be upgraded. I don't know if I necessarily want that, but a grounded sweater sounds good. Uh, this is going to protect us from uh, electrical. So that seems nice. I'd also like a anti... Um, 
Yeah, lead apron. Basic protection. Uh -huh. Lead plates that have been a bit difficult to find recently, but uh, that's good. So we'll find some more at some point. Anything in here now? No. So what happens if I put something in here? I want to know. Off his new machine. Should we just put something in here? Okay. Yeah. You have that. I really don't know how I'm supposed to make use of this. But I put something in here, so I guess we'll see what happens. Um, right. Uh, excuse me while I pause for thought, because I have no idea what I'm doing. We haven't got a pry bar. Or a impact hammer. Is it one of those... Uh, impact hammer? That's right underneath it. Pay attention. Can we make a liberator? We can. I think we'll take a liberator with us this time. Um, because... Oh, I've got a five and a six now. That must be because of my bigger backpack. Amazing. Okay, you go in here. No. You go in here. You go in here. We've got uh, another one of these, so... Oops. Just as expecting that to fall apart in two minutes, so not too worried about the space it's taken up. You go in there, and then if we open this door... By the way, are we still running on a spare wheel? Yes. We should upgrade our wheels before we go... at least one of them. What can you give me? Oh, <laughs> a fresh pry bar. That's what the doctor ordered. Well, you can go there. Uh, let's, mm, let's look at making a wheel. I can't necessarily be bothered gathering all those materials when I've just got out of my way to spend a whole bunch. And I, have I learned to make wheels? Just a spare wheel. Right, let's learn a proper wheel. Wheels, some attire. It's a good start. Can we learn the next one? Yes. It needs. Doesn't tell me. Oh, there we go. Does it tell me? It... Uh, I don't. <laughs> I couldn't tell if it was telling me what goes into it. I decided I don't care. I'm going to try making them. Uh. I can make... They need gears, but I can make... Should be able to make enough. Well, the gear needs three. Uh, probably got enough to make four off-road tyres. At this point, I only need one uh, summer tyre to finish the car. So let's do that. Crash. <laughs> That's how you do it. Another question is, do I... How big is the... Hang on. Okay. No. Okay, it's off. It's two by three. Oof. And how big is this? Two by three. Why would I have a spare tire when I can have... A, just a... <laughs> What is the point in the spare tire being the same size? That's what I want to know. I can just make another summer tire. Just hold the button down, it makes everything you need. As many of them as you need. Amazing. Right, get in there. Look how many of these I've got? Let's put them in the thing as well. See if they turn into anything. Nope, but at least I've gone away, wasting my inventory space, how dare you. Uh, you get in there. One food, fine. I really want... Oh! Okay. I thought it was telling me that I could hold the button down to rearrange, but it's not. I, wanted, I, want a sort, I still want a sort button! Give me a sort button. B, more info. Oh, cool. Right. Um, what's on two?
this, 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 these. There we go. Uh, have we got everything? Probably. Should we go somewhere? Probably. Right, what's our actual mission right now? We need to um, go back to Sierra, I'm stabilizing our way through. It says repair. I'm not doing 4% of car repair. Uh, are we happy with everything? Can we just see what we've got? We've got, uh, we've got 0 0.1 Kalim left, so we can't unlock anything anyway. So we'll just come back. Let's go and get some more resources. Come back. Maybe make a bigger locker so that we can hold some of the resources that we're going to go and get. Ready to do this with me. Here's a spot of good news. Spot of good news. I like it. We are completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. Mm -hmm. I need you to head back towards Sierra. But don't worry, I won't make you jump into Cappy again. Well, I don't think I would. It, take the route back to Sierra. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. Can I actually go? The mass hallucination. I can't believe it happened again. I can't believe I missed it. Because this one glows up. You know, it gets bigger when I pointed it. This one doesn't. And in fact, it doesn't like me clicking on it. So we're going to have to go here, which seems to lead on to Sierra anyway. Um, again, we don't have to scan it. And we go in there and... It, like, hear me out. We don't have to scan before we leave, I think. Let's find out. Um, and we only have one scan target anyway. Maybe we do. Bang. Let me do that. Uh, go up. Next. Hmm. Okay, I was going to say we don't have to scan, and therefore we can save our scanner charge by not scanning this, because we know we have to go there anyway, but apparently we have to scan it, so let's do so. One destination planned. Okay, you can't you can't set the destination without scanning it. T I L. But uh, let's head off. Only 20 minutes in the garage this time, but we didn't have much to do. We spent all our limb. Let's get ourselves going. So there wasn't anything left to do in the garage. There might have been, but I didn't do it. I want to drive. It's a driving game. Not a baffing about in the garage. It's, it's a both game. I how my lights are currently uh, laughing at me. It's very shiny. Why is the road so shiny? Off we go. I remembered my water this time. So look, I, can I just go here? Even though I... Can I go here? I think so. Right? So you, you scan a place, but you don't have to go to the place you scanned. I want to test that, but I don't know when. What do you reckon? <laughs> like, every, every episode is going to be me wanting to test that, but wanting to do the thing that I'm supposed to be doing. Let's just do the thing we're supposed to be doing. Now, this could take a long time. May end up as two episodes. If it does, you'll have no idea. Well, I won't have any idea if ahead of time. Um, so maybe it just sort of stops in the middle and there's no goodbye. Apologies for that. But it means at the start of the next episode, we won't have a lore dump. So it'll be a little bit off kilter. We'll, we'll survive, okay? We'll get through it. Okay, the second reason why we might be a little bit late with this video is that it crashed again whilst I was recording. Look, it's raining in the game now, so it should cool the computer down. Um, let's have a look at where we're going. So it's reset itself. So I was saying in the bit that I lost that it looks like what we have to do is be here, learn that it connects to Sierra. Oh, oh hello. I don't go back. And then go again. Unless you've got a death wish, in which case, be my guest. When we're all dead and gone, and limb technology, but a footnote in the history books, the anomalies will remain. They're the legacy of our work here, and the Olympic Peninsula belongs to them now. We'll once again repeat. A bit melodramatic there. Poppy. This is just a normal storm as well. Look, it's not on the map. This is just rain. Always put your headlights on in the rain. It makes you more visible to other vehicles who may not be able to see very well because of the rain. 
shouldn't need explaining, but apparently it needs, apparently it's still happening. Um, so yeah, I think I'm not even going to spend as long now as I did in the version that I just lost. Because there's nothing here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, oh, I got a I got a, an armored door. Maybe I'll hopefully try and... I'm going to try and find another one of them, at least. Uh, just keep an eye out for vehicles. Maybe one of them will have something we can break off. But yeah, unfortunately we've reset ourselves. There's not too many things on the map, just a few buildings. And three uh, limb balls. So I think my goal here is just going to be to get the limb. And get out. Learn that this connects to Sierra, and because we don't know that it does, because the map didn't show the next road, right? That means we have to go here, and then presumably go here again, when we want to progress. Oh, actually, I think the other thing we learned is this machine. Yeah, look. Learned about the Shaker now. The movers and the Shakers. Something else has spawned underneath me when I really don't want it to. Uh, we haven't got enough Kalim to know where the gates are going to be, so I think we're just going to have to turn to the left and get this one. Maybe pick up some stuff from these Arda things on the way and hopefully find a vehicle. Oh, I got an achievement for being in the air for six seconds because I used one of them glittering boulders to yeet myself off the ground. Off, off a cliff. But we were over here before. I just went, yee. Oh no, it's a different map actually. It's the same map but rotated, so I did actually yeet myself off of here down to there. Maybe we can do it again. I'm not going to because I want to be down there. Oh well. Oh well, let's go. I'm trying to avoid these money makers. Off, off the beaten track. Onto the slightly more. Onto the still beaten. Still track. Oh, maybe you've got an armored door. Running in the rain. Ah, it's chucking it down out here. Steel door. Probably just a steel door here. Yeah, get back in the car. It's soaking. Ah. I love the weather effects. When you feel like you don't want to be out in it, that's a good weather effect. Looks like a honeypot to me. Don't ignore it. 44. When I did this before, and I was turning the engine off at every stop, and also it wasn't raining, so I didn't have my lights on, I was at full battery the entire time until, like, halfway through the level. It's slippery. This is a new... Uh, it's not been an anomaly, it's just a phenomenon. Oh, a new vehicle. Oh yeah, I learned about abandoned cars last time. Oh, we've missed so much! Oh, hang on, look in it first. You didn't get to see me play around with a whole bunch of uh, doggy things. Little puppy things. Big flying puppies, you know what I mean. There was... I got some lights. No, I managed to hoover up the bulbs. I was talking about the hoover, how I don't want to use it to hoover this stuff up until we can learn to make a new one because it's so valuable to get the sodium bulbs. All that talking that you've missed from me. I even found a bug. I think I just found another one. There we go. Um, whereby I had two of these in my inventory and the one that was you don't care, I'm telling you anyway the one that was um, equipped in the hot bar down there was not the one that was actually being used, so I was trying to get rid of one by using it <laughs> it wouldn't let me oh look, you can go this way but not that way yeah, it wouldn't let me because it was the it was using the durability from the other one I also noticed that I should really have probably kept hold of some of my food rather than destroying all of it hastily because I hardly found any in this entire map. 
There's potholes everywhere, my goodness. Oh, and I tried... If we find another one, I'll do it, but I'm not a huge... I'm not massively bothered. I put something in the pneumatic tube thingy. Um, that I opened and had some stuff in it. I took the stuff out and put something else in, because I'm thinking there must be a reason for there to be a pneumatic tube in the uh, workshop. But... So therefore I must either be able to send something from it or receive something to it. And yet I don't seem to be able to do either of those things. I know it's radioactive over there, but I'm going to have a look anyway. Just in case. It's a fuel tanker with a steel door, okay. Yeah, never mind. I'm not even going to spend the time. Where'd my card go? Over there. How can you miss it? Also, the car was very much smashed up, by the way. I yeeted it across the <laughs> side of the cliff. Uh, maybe I'll put that footage in so that you can see it. Because it was fun. How good of an idea do you think it is to uh, just drive really fast in that direction? Courtesy of this thing? Very bad idea. Yes, I agree. Let's do it. Whee! <laughs> uh, flashbacks. <laughs> what could go wrong? That's fine. What are you talking about? That went really well. I'm basically where I want to be. Get out. Oh dear. <laughs> Slightly where I want to be. Not entirely. While driving, remain airborne for six seconds. I think I count as airborne still. Based on how... Because um, I'm sliding and then it gave me the... That was an achievement. Crash. It's very good at landing on its feet. Even though we don't get to keep the effects of it because the game crashed. I've turned down my graphics settings. I'm wondering if it's my graphics card overheating and not my... Uh, not my... CPU. Because it seems... The, the symptom seems to be that the monitors turn off. And then the computer gets really confused and sad. So I'm going to assume it's the graphics card. Get zapped. Get off me. Got a chance to use that as well, but that was my limb machine. Get zapped. <laughs> I'm just trying to go around it, though. Just trying to go around it. Though. Didn't get much electric from that. Sad. Anything good on this? Not really. Just put it in park so we can see what we're doing. Right, so... Okay, there's a gateway here, which is going to be downhill from here, but I have to be far enough away to open it. And then there's one there, so I've got to go back up the hill from this one. Might as well try and get something out of these two things. By going down this hill. Okay. Avoid the zappy, zappy mist. Maybe not... Not down this hill? Not so much? Done it anyway! <laughs> <laughs> what could go wrong? It's like Mario Kart. How'd you get out? Ow. Broke it a bit, I think. That's alright. It's quite hardy, considering. This is where I was uh, in the broken bit. Okay. In the, in the the alternative universe, the other leg of the trousers of time that you lot didn't get to see. Oh look, there's a thing. Okay, we'll do it again then. Maybe the maybe the armored cars in the same place. Ooh, this is disappointing. This had loads of stuff in it last time. Oh, it's got food. Well, a bit of food isn't too bad actually, considering I need some, <laughs> basically. Oh well. Yeah. 
What I did was I opened this, I did this, I took the stuff out of it, and then I put something in it. Put some rubber in it. There you go. Let's see what happens. Right, where's the final piece? So let's go. We haven't looked at that. We haven't. Okay. Go over here and have a look at this. It was up a hill. Maybe it'll still be up the hill. So, keep an eye out, but don't feel that confident. While I think about it, I'm going to turn on brighter nights from right now. Even though it's not night. Now, I don't know if that will brighten up places that are just dark, but we'll see. Ah, no thank you. <laughs> okay. Could uh, rearrange my backpack, or I could not bother. More lore for next time. Oh, what I was saying, I don't know if this was in the half of the video that was kept, but um, we might have to do a sort of a half and half episode, which means the next step might not actually start with everyone's favourite uh, lore dump. Ooh, dear. Might have broken that a little bit. Why am I uh, radiated, please? Let me just drive away from here. <laughs> Deal with this when we're not being eaten alive by, by energy particles. Uh, there's another one ahead of us. Let's go over there. Keep your eyes peeled for anything juicy. That doesn't look juicy. Thread the needle between these two, if you don't mind, thank you very much. Oh, it's in the hills. It's in the trees. Oh, plasma. No plasma. <laughs> rude. Pretty dang rude, mate. You can have some. Whack. You can have some. Whack. Okay. Shh. This computer is useless. Scrap it. An IBM. Chemicals. Fine. So yeah, pretty sure this is still quite dark. This is going to transmute duct tape into batteries. No. I will not allow this to happen. Pills there. Eh? Not sure about these transmuting things. Another one. SRR meetings number two. Again, we'll look at those next time, I think. Quick scout for juicy vehicles in the woods, but I think maybe we just. Uh... Except I lost. I'm a bit salty because it was the computer frying that has caused me to not have the thing that I want. I won some good stuff in the last time, and I was doing quite well, I thought. What are you going to do? Huh? Can't win them all.
I see the storm coming in, by the way. So having a look around. That's probably a honey pot. Let me make some noise. What was that? Oh, more shapers. Okay. Just bashing the ground about. Hot dust. Okay. Put it in park because. Tell us where you're going. You're about to cover this, which is where I want to be. But let me take that. Oh, you're going this way now. Where are we going? Let's just zoom in a bit. We get this. This isn't the most annoying position. <laughs> I want. I've got to have to wait for the thickest part of the storm to go over there. Uh. We probably won't be able to turn the gateway on. Can we turn the gateway on and then get the thing? That seems dangerous. Let's not try that. Um, I do want to go up there. I I'm ignoring you, Storm. You're just being a... You know, I'm not going to pay attention to your temper, is the thing. Uh, I'm not sure if I care that much, to be honest. So, I think we'll just go and get that and then figure out how to leave. How about that? Let's have a look along here. There might be something good. Whee! Didn't mean to do that, but I did it anyway. I mean, it happened, so um, not a lot I can do. Maybe we'll see a good vehicle or something. I'm kind of determined to rediscover that vehicle, but it, it could have been a random spawn that isn't... It's likely to have been a random spawn that isn't guaranteed. You know what I mean? So, finding it in this version of the level is low odds. That's right. We'll live. Still having a look out though, you're going to stop me from checking. <laughs> no siree. Right, do I have enough? I'm going to go and get that. Chiromino! I actually managed to control that descent with braking. <laughs> I didn't think the car had any control at all in this situation, but here we go. So you'll never know that I had a look at these things end on and noted that it's quite cool how thick they are. Because from the side, they just look flat, cylindrical. Well, circular. But actually, no, look. Quite wide. Can't really tell. We're going to stick around to watch it chop me in half, actually. So, it's all the same to you. I'm going over here. Park. Right, once we get this, we're going to have to figure out the gateway afterwards. <laughs> well, let's have a look now, actually. We can open one of them. I think the right thing to do... What are you doing? Leave me alone. I think the right thing to do might be to go somewhere else and open a gateway that we can get to from that position. Right, so <clears throat> if we, for example, go over here and then open that gateway, that should work. It might work. 
work. Whoops. Thought I'd avoided it. Live and learn. You can't tell what I turned down, can you? It doesn't make this game looks the same. I've turned things something some ultra to high. And the game looks the same, but the room feels quite a lot cooler. So <laughs> there's that. We go over here. At some point that will go green and we can open it and then just drive into it. There we go. Screech. Just turn around. Should no longer be stable. It says it's stable still, even though I've taken all of the stability anchors. Uh, I think we'll open this gate. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll see you soon. Uh, area of map. And then people randomly start talking to us on the radio. Strawberry. I hope we continue to listen to this on the way through. Whoa! Rocks. Yaram's going to be famous. We don't get us to. So I'm thinking what's happened there is. Huh. I'm marginally impressed. Not bad. We've learned about the connection. So we should be able to have a quick look at this and note that we can now get to Sierram. This way. Yes. Brave the rain again. Give me stuff. So what we can repair. Just repair everything. We can make a load of this now. In fact, tell you what. Let's get this. Open sesame. We didn't pick up too much, did we, actually? Red paint. I had a lot more the last time, I'll tell you that for sure. Ooh. Crude panel. You can go straight in the bin. You're done, huh? Alright, I'll let you up. You win some, you lose some. Uh... Ground. Turn this on, please. Oh, even picked up that. Interesting. Okay. Bit blustery. Shut that. Yeah. There's a fax. Can we get the bigger locker, do you think? Maybe that's the thing we can do right now. Read it. Blah blah blah. Lynn. Idea for an anomaly petting zoo, highlighting how many of them are docile and even helpful. Call it friends with benefits. No way. Ha ha ha. Uh, these two. We'll read. We'll read the those things at the start of the next episode. I haven't forgotten. Let's look at this. I need more steel sheets. I can improve the antenna, which will get me two. Scans. Matter regenerator. That's interesting. I can afford that. I need 0.3k then. Done. Sorry, RP, but these, uh, these sideboards suck. <laughs> Get out. Um, what happened to the... Up to the panel that was out there. There was a crude panel on the ground that this gave me. And it ain't there no more since I activated the vacuum, but it's not in the thing either. Hmm. Again, I'm ignoring the car. It's not that interesting. 
All oh, right, we'll learn to see if there's, there's nothing in here. And this didn't go anywhere. Okay. Well, I guess we'll install that. <laughs> Maybe we install that? Uh, let's change that then. I want this. Install. One. Oh, I've only got the one. Okay. That's installed. What? No, it ain't. Shut up. Thank you. That's better. Better speed and power. Uh, probably this one. I don't want to spend too long here, but I'd like to go out again. Probably fix that. Uh, putty, putty, putty. There it is. One, two, that'll do. Just pop this as well to get the... Hill tank. Oh, thank you. I've already visited the friendly dumpster. Wouldn't you there? No. Oh well, it's not raining. It won't go away because it's empty now. Uh, putty, putty, putty. This one. Anything loose? Doesn't seem loose. Oh, this was busted ass, wasn't it? I mean, I did kind of jump off of a whole bunch of things. Oh. I kind of threw myself around a bit. <laughs> well, things are broken, aren't they? Like this window, for example. No? I genuinely thought that was wrecked. Okay. I'll save it there. Keep this one for the road. Didn't even fully... Oh, look. This has happened again. Look, this is the one that should be on number one. So that it breaks first. Uh, fuel. Job done. And then repair is fine. Think about that. Have we got all the things that we need? I think so. We are going to FIFA. Can I just do this? I think I still have to go through here. So this is probably where we go to that one and then end the episode. And then we do Sierra. Then I'll do the lore dump in the middle of next episode, which you can skip uh, if you want to. And then, you know, you get there. We'll figure it out as we go along. Yeah, it's empty. Oh, I wanted to get... Oh, let's have a look in here. So we've got a few more of these uh, options. We need steel sheets. Four more of them. I make four? Steel sheet. One, two, three, four. Jobs are good. Eat. Please make that thing. I hope it retains the inventory. Ooh! I have options. It's an extra locker. It doesn't remove that locker. It puts in another... No oh, what size of that thing? That is a beefy locker. Good. So take everything from here. So I love how it has to calculate that. Put those back because they're chunky. Open this. Put everything in here. I'm glad I don't actually have to find these things. But the fact that they're just... They exist is fine. Oops. I don't have to know where they are. Excellent. Uh, thank you. You've done your job. Um. Shame I don't have my uh, free armored door, but whatever. What else can we learn? What can we make? We've got two point one limb to spend on something. What's over here? Carbon fiberglass. We need unstable energy for that, so we're getting locked out of things. We can learn to make the hand back now, actually. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. There we go. How much have we got left? 
1.2. We don't have to spend it all here, we could save up a bit. I could learn armoured, no I couldn't. Uh, insulated panels are available. Insulated doors are available. I need to scan some lead shielding, which apparently I haven't done. There was some in Sierra, so we can go back. We can do it when we get there. Probably not going to make any insulated doors just now, so we won't bother too much. Puncture proof tyre. Paddle tyre. What the heck? Make your vehicle all but amphibious with this almost skid-free solution. As a bonus, the wheel also works well in muddy conditions, but it's likely to underperform on regular roads. Okay, we could make another side rack, but... Uh... We haven't really been hurting for space, to be honest. What's this now? Large fuel can. We haven't been hurting for that, neither. Battery lightning rod. Ever argue about whether Frankenstein was the Doctor or the monster? Now you can argue about whether it's the mechanic or the vehicle. Capture electrical energy from lightning strikes and send it straight to your battery. That would probably help with the Minutemen. Make that. Can't see. Let's make one. Where do you go? Probably need to learn something about it that I hadn't learned before. Uh, I need a rack. Okay. Put it on a storage rack. Side storage, yep. So you can go on here. No, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Put this in here. I don't want the storage yet. I want... a whack. Where is it? I have to make it in... Okay. The storage rack is made in here. I just said I don't want one, and now I want one. And I bet I can't have one now. Ah! <laughs> Rude! That's how I make... I need to put it on a thing that I now can't afford. Dang. Alright, we'll do it next time. This is fine. I didn't get to use my liberator this time either. Did I do that? Maybe. I don't know. Alright, let's go and do the first step of this. I think we know where we're going. Whatever I've forgotten, I've forgotten. Okay? Didn't get to finish the bit about the... Uh... I think I had to finish hearing the mayor of Sierra and telling us about how great their town was, so well. Yeah, we can't go straight there. Rude. I can go here. I couldn't before. Just some gales, intense radiations. There's one, two, there's three not recognised things. It's not worth it. <laughs> not worth it at all. We're going back here, which is where we just were. We'll get through this bit, do some loot goblin in. Call the episode there. These are long episodes. But I promise, I've said it now, okay? This is nearly an hour already, but I've said it now, so I'm going to do it. Oh, the dice are real. Uh, this is a small zone, so maybe we don't. Hang on. Bad gateway area, proceed. Oh, there's a lot of loot goblin in to do here, actually. Let's do it then. It's a small zone, but frightfully strong. No, but... I love how there's physics on the dice. That's so much unnecessary detail, and yet it's absolutely necessary. I would be grumpy if there wasn't. That was the first zone we were in. We're back home, sort of. If there is such a thing. Uh, right. Turn that off. So I don't know if we're at night yet, but hopefully, however dark night gets is acceptable. I 
Did we learn to make the vacuum cleaner? I don't think we did. So I'm not going to have another one if I'm not careful. So again, can't use it until we know how to make more and have actually made more. So this is what I'm thinking. I don't know if this is... I don't know how bright this is compared to what it was last time. It seems brighter to me. Hopefully it's okay to you. Again, we can still fix this for the next next episode if this is still too bad. Let me know. Uh, we'll see how we get on, basically. Well, when you got to go? Dude, Newcomb would have let you. Ah, uh, much better. Stuff, thank you. I feel like I should be able to get something out of that. It's not forthcoming, so I'll leave it. Not getting in here. Okay. I know where I'm not wanted. I'm here anyway, but I know I'm not wanted here. When I was inside, it's rude that you went down. Open. You. Can't reach it. Can't reach it. There we go. I will take that because I threw away most of my food. It was a good idea at the time, I promise. Where is that light coming from? Is it just you? Maybe. Ooh, what's this? They keep breaking the plasma thing, so I can't have any now. The monkeys. Dumpsters are big. Kind of pesky that my new backpack has, a, you know, a compartment right in the middle instead of at the bottom, so that things would fit. mind. Okay, so carry on. We should see it on the right-hand side of the road. Down here somewhere. I think that error noise when I equip this is because it's dying. It's fine. Thank you for telling me. I will fix it in my own time. It's good to know. But. I really want to use my vacuum cleaner to deal with this, but I, I, I don't want to use it up until I can replace it. It's precious. Car's my precious. Get in. Get out. Get in. Right, carry it on. How are we doing over here? little further. Not too bothered about boring cars at the moment. Just yet, anyway. 
a bit different from how it was before when it was just shock towers and flying puppies. Whoa! I told you about spawning them underneath me. I told you I don't like it. Whoa! I've got my limb emitter, don't forget, if a uh, dog tries to, if a puppy tries to play with me. Carry me home. I thought I was going to be able to go over there and look at that, but nope. I think this is a small level, but it's also very long because you have to do all of it. What is that? Is that Bollard just half the puppy? Shoot her. Goes quite a long way down. Uh, okay. I'm loot goblin in the whole thing. You see if I don't. They're all broken though. I haven't had plasma for ages actually. Ooh. Ah. See so. Should have seen that coming, huh? The lights aren't on. Why are these lights on? Why are the tail lights on when the actual lights are not? Ow! <laughs> so silly. I love it. Bash myself in the head with. <laughs> so stupid. But you could just not hit yourself on the head with it. You know, you know where your head is. Like character I'm controlling. You could just say, no, I'm not going to do that. I'll hit myself on the head, but instead you just do it. <laughs> I suppose it's no different from going, no, I'm not going to jump off this cliff. It'll hurt. Ominous music. Om nom nominous music. This is like Fallout. Fallout 4. The just random... With these things that are just joined together to make bigger things. And some of them are heavily irradiated. It is basically just Fallout without the combat. Just calling it. Say it like I see it, you know? Says it like I see it. Really holding out for finding a cool vehicle that can make up for the crashed episode. No, it seems like the second attempt just doesn't crash. I don't know why it's just. Ooh. It's been a while since we had to use this. Or got to use this. Asma. Nice. Such to your plasma. Harder crate. Mechanics kit. Might be helpful. I'm going to go out and find I got a loose wheel, and it was just the game's way of telling me. Oh, eat this. Hold 2% of HP, but it's huge, and I don't care. High velocity particles. Must be one of them machines. No, it's not. Just is. Generally in, in the world, there are high velocity particles. Drop Linda. Something at the top of the hill. But also, it's now Trey's Gusty. Seismic Squall? Didn't we know that? Oh, hang on. What? 
It's not a windy thing. It's an earthy thing. It's going to be making them springy up things, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No, it's making bollards. That's fine. Just, uh, keep an eye out, I suppose. No, I think I might go up there. I'm going to take the car the whole way up. I'm going to park it here. There's not a lot I can do about the seismic squall. Either it gets me with the bollard or it doesn't. You know? I want to know what's up here. What's this X? What's this X building? Ooh. I can get in this one. Employees only. That's me. Who's questioning? That's what I want to know. Thank you. See you later. Nothing else there, I think. didn't hurt. Just jumped on top of it. It's just a bit of land. How's this squall doing? Nearly done. Might as well go. We Struggled with that. Pretty much out of it now. I'm following it, which is true. Agree with that. Oh yeah. There's also that one which has grown <laughs> very slowly in the time that we've been gone. This truck. Oh, what have you given me? Crude door. Crude panel. Oh, thank you. Why is there spicy air? <laughs> Why don't you have this? There's food in there. That's handy. You have this then. You know how I said I didn't need the everything? Let's drive out of this zappy. But also, what's over there? Lynn. Oh, that's where we came from, okay. Uh, we can smash up the panels that we just got, because I don't want them. Like a good place to stop as any. Is there something to do? Let's draw this and this. Scrap it up. It not crafted iron. It found iron. Now, are we using the scrapper that is nearly fallen apart, or are we using the new one? We're using the. So again, this says we're using the one that's nearly fallen apart. But that said, we were using a new one. Oh, hello. What is this? Dumpster pile. Cool. Burn a, a, it's a lot of law for next time. You take this, and you take the rest. Didn't actually check for anything needing um, repair. Because that mechanics kit might be handy if something's falling off. That's flat. Means I need a ceiling kit.
Ah, do not. Stop it. Loot goblin in the hallway. And once done. the next episode. Again, I think you're using the wrong pry bar. I've only got one. Okay, I'll let you off. Stuff. More stuff. Oh, I haven't taken a photo of this. More law for next time. There's nothing in this place. Finally, something to do. And do you know what? Now we can see. Now why not use these flares for lighting as well? It seems a little bit wasteful not to. Wasteful because they exist in such abundance that just leaving them behind when they could have been... What is that noise? <laughs> What's going on out there? Stop making weird anomaly noises. Not using them for light when they're such high abundance and I'm leaving them behind instead of using them for light is wasteful. Basically. I just spawned a stability anchor. That is definitely not there just now. Did it move? Or was there only one more? This definitely moved. It's either moved or it's new. I think it might have moved. But I'm barely sure there were two in the level for me to get. And now it's over here instead of over there. Maybe this is where it was needed the most. So it's transported itself around. For my benefit. For your comfort and convenience, we have moved this stability anchor. No use of serviceable parts inside. Uh, I tried to avoid it again. Didn't do very well. Ooh. That's got a roof rack. A woof whack. an abandoned squire. Armoured panel? Hold up, cotton pick a minute. Might have got something equivalently good to what I thought I'd lost previously. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can put that in as well. No room for that. What are you talking about? I had a ceiling kit this whole time. I didn't need to make another one. Right. I've got health as well. It's not the end of the world. I've run out of food. Uh, right, let's liberate uh, this. We don't very much. We'll take the. Well, which one's broken the most? This one. Get this up. Thank you. I hear a storm coming in, maybe. Get up. Nice. I mean, that needs a fix as well, but... Uh, no. Stop it. Dang it. <laughs> Stop clicking on the wrong thing. Stupid brain. Uh, this bit. Wallet. Goodbye, weird sarcophagus pictures that make no sense. Nice. Well, I got something out of it. Uh, it's not the armoured door, but actually, this is probably as good. I love the way the sounds change when the door is actually closed. Like, the audio in this is brilliant. Oh, I didn't check for another one. Yeah, second panel. Looks in there, right? <gasps> There's a door as well! Give me. Paintball it. 
Oh, that's broken as. Breaking. Breaking. Where is that? No. I'm going to forget that. I've read, not read these yet. Oh, this one, look. Breaking. Use either immediate repair or scrapping. Well, I'm going to get immediate repair, my son. Can I do it like this? Yeah. Whack. Is that going to, like, do less of it? Oh, it needs a ceiling kit as well. I have. Didn't fully re Ooh, that fully repaired it. Very good. I used up the ceiling kit. But that's okay. Uh, I want the store. <laughs> getting back what I had. Yes. I think it's getting lighter as well. Maybe not. Maybe this is just brighter nights. It's much brighter if this is night. I wonder what time it is. Can we tell? Does this have a time on it? Because that says 1850, but that doesn't seem like night time. Uh, uh oh. Right, moving on. I haven't turned the car off recently, which is because I don't want to run out of battery, but I'm running out of fuel instead, so I should. Oh, well, this is. Never mind. We've basically uh, won this game. No one can do anything to us. And there's a friendly dumpster. Is that always at the gas station, or is it a sometimes food? Uh, is it a blowy storm or a stumpy storm? I don't know. I don't know how you can tell the difference. Well, you're full of clothes, huh? That's a star. What does that mean? don't know. Peculiar. Ah, jeez. Where did you come from, and what is your problem, Sunshine? Fix none. Let's have a look at that quick. Looks like the zone has smiled upon you to this part will last you only as long as it holds together. If you love it, take it out for a ride, then let it go. Some... Put it in the... I think I just got wallops by a abductor, by the way. Not a fan of it. Maybe it's because I was talking to the friendly dumpster and the friendly dumpster won't talk to them. I don't know. It's gone grey, so I'm guessing that's it, yeah. Going indoors. Whoa! Excuse me. Oh, I turned you off. I did. Why are you stealing my car when it's off? You bugger. Go play with that. You go play with that. Can't limit when I'm not in it. There's the mantra right there. There's nothing in big bands today. Oh, backpack. Full of goodies. There was a TV show in the old days that used to go backpack full of goodies. And I don't know what it was, but it's still in my head. It's still a noise that my head makes whenever someone says backpack. It's a backpack full of goodies. There was a prize that you could win on something. I know that much. Ooh, there's a... Gross potty. Okay. <laughs> Nothing in it. Paper. Should have been able to take the paper. Ooh, that looks interesting. I don't know why we've got these uh, abductors around the place all of a sudden. Not sure what type of... Is this like an abductor squall? What's going on? No, it's a seismic one, okay. I'm going over here. Putting the handbrake on. Clean part. Turn it off. Get out. <laughs> Hope for the best. I'm guessing that they won't wake up Like underneath the. If I'm in here, it'll be fine, right? Oh, it's just one of them. They're not gonna try and chunk you through the ground. Maybe through this building. Right? <laughs> right? 
There's a box in the bug. That one, however, might have some goodies on it. Let's go and see. Loving this door. Got an official Arda door. It's gonna be an Arda fanboy car. Squall's gone. Wait for these things. Ooh. How many times am I going to park this close <laughs> to a can opener? Oh, I'd investigate it. Nice. I know it's very, very radiating. Oh, there's another one. Yes. Oh, I needed one. This off. Drop it. Don't need to chuck it. Did it anyway. Pick this up, put it on. I wonder what these look like with the uh, decals on. Scrap crafted item because of reasons. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Yeah. Oh, the zappy's gone. That's interesting. Where did this come from? Tire. Tempted. Oh, it has stuff in it. How long has it had stuff in it? You know what? Do it. Well, I'm min maxing this thing, but you never believe. What was that? There was law law to be had, and you didn't let me. Hear it. Rude. Okay, they seem okay. Pick up these gears. They're not smaller on the ground than you might think they are. So based on their real life. And what are we going to do with these? So let's change this wheel out. How big is it? Huge. <laughs> Same as those, I suppose. Hmm. Wait, what? You can't make it three by two. Oh, it's three by three! I hadn't realised that. Interesting. Um, alright. You know what? Ow. Naughty. Okay. Uh, let's put the summer tires on uh, the off-road tires on the back. Don't really need. I'll just leave these ones behind. No, dang it. <laughs> there it is. Cause they're. F they're good, right? They're fresh and new. Not like they're, uh... Well, that is flat. That's okay. I can deal with that. The other one? Fine. Good. Right, let's go. <laughs> what, what a mess we've made. That was a heckin' salvage. That was really good. Very happy with that. Uh, right. We need to get back on the road, which is behind us now. Watch it, you. Somehow. Without being dragged away. Ooh. Didn't see that before. Ooh. 
Despite all the extra inventory and saying, well, we haven't really run out of inventory space recently. <laughs> Suddenly, inventory's a problem. And we're about to go to a whole other area. Yes, I know, framing issue. A whole other area. With plenty more loot in it, and I've got a completely full inventory. With two wheels in it, to be fair. I could probably just drop them. I don't need both. We'll figure that out when we get there. Uh, which way are we going? Left. There's no point going up there, I think. I can't even bother looting the crate. We've got so much stuff. And I can limb this joker if he tries to pick me up. Which he will, because he's right underneath me. We'll check this out then. We'll make sure I eat that. Uh, seems okay. 69% health. Maybe we should do something about that. All the stuff. All the stuff. I can't scrap the Game Boy for batteries and stuff, which is weird. Or the guitar. There's a tire there. Why don't you let me have it? I don't want it anyway. You suck. We did try um, walking into the rock, didn't we? The glittering boulder? Pretty sure. Right. This seems okay. Let me get in. No, we're gonna, gonna drop stuff off. Probably just uh, drops. Over there, get that one. Honey pot? Yeah, look, it's not showing up as a car, which means it's a honey pot. Oh no, abandoned car, it says. I actually want some uh, players back, you see. If you use them, you still get them back. Worth the effort, I say. To use them, I mean. Worth using them. I haven't seen a spark tower for a while. Okay, you know, uh, you know what we promised, and it's still going to happen. Going to drive through this exit, and then we're going to end the episode. Come back next time, and be back in Sierra. I'll just eat the ones I've got. Look. Got plenty of HP stored in the car in general. Don't worry too much about um, it specifically being in the form of food, right? So let's back on the road. Yeah, he tries to drive me into the car, but it ain't, uh, into the tree, but it ain't happening. Sunny Jim. Okay. These things really need proper training. I, I hate it when people get an abductor and refuse to train it. You just end up with such an unruly creature. Anyway, here we go. There's the, uh, there's the end of that. It was only a short map, but there was so much in it. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Um... What is this? See details. Oh, that's this one. Is this, wh where was it? One of them just said the gravity of the situation over and over again. Maybe it was the default and I had to... Um, yep, yeah, we'll go here. I'll say thank you for watching and I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. And hope you join me next time. Apologies for all the lateness and the weirdness of having to jump, you know, the commentary because I lost a 50 minutes or so of... It's going to happen a few times. I I don't know if it's just because I have too many things open. Maybe it's memory. Maybe it's a graphics card. haven't got a clue. But it, in the next episode, we're going to do the info dump in the middle, not at the end. So keep on your fingers. If you want to skip that, you're going to have to, you know, start paying attention again halfway through. But 
you could just watch it. That's fine too. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Bye.